of course, I'm furious at the underlying facts of the story. I'm furious at a sexual assault, let alone of a child, let alone a, a, against one's own child. The, uh, I, in my mind, an 18-month sentence for sexually assaulting a child, let alone your child, is a laugh. It's a, it's a trifle. Of course, he'll be out in a matter of months under our parole laws. I'm outraged by the crime. I'm outraged by the lenient sentence. But there's so many more layers here, including that he is being sent to serve his sentence in a women's prison. And then finally, the cherry on top of the icing, on top of the cake, is that the Toronto Star calls him a her. Uh, now, they, they, they lapse into saying, was her father, because otherwise the story makes no sense. But this is the, the lowest our culture has sunk in quite a long while. I can't even remember anything like it. That's my view. Let me hand it over to you before I start ranting even more. No, I, I share your I share your horror at this at this story, uh, and I agree with you. I, I, I don't know how satire stays in business anymore because this is the kind of story uh, in your wildest dreams you would never expect to see written up with a straight face and the, the pronouns he, her. And this is what happens when you insist that language follow uh, the the you know. Uh, feelings and or, or the beliefs in people's minds uh so that and, and and you redefine objective facts and you call something that used to mean one thing uh, by another name uh and then you're forced to follow up with action that befits the new definition so uh if this person this man this biological man has told everybody and he's assuming that he you know he he is he is a, a woman because he, he feels like a woman or maybe because he who knows why, then uh, suddenly he's uh, he's a woman who assaulted his daughter <laughs> with his, I assume, with his penis. You know, uh, this this kind of uh, muddle-headed thinking is what got us into this mess. Uh, this man, this biological man, um, is a very sick individual. And by the way, used to be, he's getting a sex change operation. Used to be the days when if you wanted a sex change operation, uh, you had to be go through some serious uh, psychological assessment. Uh, they didn't just do anybody that came to the door. Uh, they they weeded out those that they thought were afflicted with psychological serious problems, uh, and 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 that they were not truly dysphoric, but that this was uh, a function of of other problems. Sounds to me like this biological man as uh, other problems besides wanting to be a woman. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, a, it's a horrible story. Uh, it, is, it is not a serious sentence. It should be much longer. And I, I worry about the women that in the prison, uh, that this is a biological man who I suppose after he's had a sex change operation, they'll stop calling him a biological man, but he still will be only one without male genitalia. Um, and I worry about the women in that prison. We already know uh, it's happened in England that uh, a trans woman, with, still with male genitalia, did assault uh, women in prison. When, when uh, you know, in a, in a woman's prison, this we're in we're in a terrible situation because we have committed to believing to 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 creating laws um, and to uh, denying reality on the basis of some people's uh, psychological affliction. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.